Welcome once again to Open Door with District 8. I'm Council Member Carlos Garcia, and today we have special guests. We're here at Carniceria Agave on 35th Avenue and Southern, and we're here with a family-owned business. We're here with Ernie, with Pam, Isabella's here also joining us. Um, and we wanted to let people know what carnicerias are. A lot of times you might be driving by and just see carniceria, and we wanted to talk to one of the experts. A couple months ago, I got to tour with Ernie, and we got to go to different carnicerias across the valley, and now we're here at Carniceria Agave. So Ernie, how long have you been in the meat business? I've been in the meat business uh, selling meat to all the stores for about 25 years. And I've been in this store here for about um, three, a little bit over three years. What, what makes a carniceria? What is a carniceria? How would you describe uh, it to someone? Well, a carniceria is really a meat market. And we have a meat market where you sell all the meat you want. We also have a, a kitchen that we prepare your food for you to eat here, to go. Uh, we have all the um, uh, tortillas, we have pan dulce, sweet bread. Uh, we have the beer, we have uh, all kinds of um, stuff that you need, kind of like a convenience store. We cater to everybody, we try to have what they want and we're working with them as we're growing. Okay, and why should someone come to Agave? What, do, what would they expect when they get here? Well, when they get here, they're gonna have good service for sure. And I guarantee you it's one of the cleanest stores in town. And also the meat that we have is all fresh. We uh, rotate our meat quite a bit. We bring in the meat maybe two to three times a week. So it's rotated. Uh, we have a very fine butcher who cuts the meat every day, makes it very nice, I'll show you. And we have a cook that's excellent. Makes everything, soups, uh, carne asadas, tacos, frijoles, rudos. We have a noodle on the weekends. Uh, we also have a bakery that we make all our own bakery. Uh, we sell all the bread, all the sweet bread. So it's a convenience of coming in. We have all the drinks, vitamin drinks, water drinks, uh, a lot of Mexican drinks, Mexican sodas. So uh, also people come in because we have a check cashing business. Okay. And they come in and cash your check or they uh, pay their water bills and stuff like that. Okay, and it seems very community oriented. I've seen as, as soon as we walk in, people come say hi to you, people know you. We got to be in a parade together a couple weeks ago, so it's also very community oriented. Can you talk a little bit about that? What does the parade look like? I saw you out there with some horses. Yeah, well, we've been in the parade now uh, three years in a row, and uh, it's in the community for Levine. Uh, there's two stores here in this community. Uh, and we've been very lucky that uh, we do very good with our, with our community. We try to service our community. We're on the Facebook and uh, YouTube, and um, we, people walk in. We have a little, the biggest problem we have here, Carlos, is that the store is kind of hidden. Mm -hmm. So it's taking time for people to realize that we have a store. But once people come, they'll come back. And so that's what we're working on, is people, once you get them in, they'll come back. What are some of the stories that you've heard of why people, you know, you have Walmart nearby, you have the big stores. Why do people prefer to come to the carnicerias than actually going to the big stores? Well, because you got you got a good service here, a friendly people, and I hear that all the time. You know, my customers all say like, oh, they're so friendly and nice, and we have fresh stuff, you know what I mean? And the convenience, you know, you come in, you get out, do what you want. Uh, and so I think that's the biggest thing, the convenience and the friendliness. And also, uh, if you see, it's, it's, we try to keep this store clean, very clean. All right, well, we're going to take a little tour, show you a little bit more about what the carniceria is all about. Just walk in and we got everything ready. We cook everything fresh every day. This is the different cuts. This is all the, the meat, and we got uh, different kinds of cuts, you know. The best meat you can get, and it's, it's Angus, is La Ranchera flat meat. It's very good stuff. And then you got all the different kinds of cuts. Uh, that's Carlos, my main butcher. Okay. Carlos has been with us for years, and he cuts and he keeps everything you see here nice. He does it all. Then we got all kinds of different salsas, and we have all the Mexican cheeses that sell quite a bit, a lot. You got the chicharrones, 
We make all that here ourselves. And then you're saying you also have uh, meals that are ready yeah, to we, go. We prepare your food for you. This is Jesus, one of my main dish out guys. And that's Jose, my main chef. This is uh, granitas and all the ch chicken, shrimp, gorditas. We bring in this you know, two, three times a week fresh. We and fresh we produce. rotate all the produce. We want to thank you, Ernie. Thank your family for having us here. And there you have it. When you see a carniceria, don't be afraid of it. Stop in. They're locally owned businesses, usually by good folks like Ernie here and their family. Please continue to support. And thank you once again for watching Open Door with Council District 8. We hope to see you in our next video.